Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? We Paddy from across the shock. And uh, I think I might have a bit of cabin fever. You'll see by the title of this video, EDC. Is it an addiction or something like that? I haven't made it up as I'm doing this video. Is it addiction? Um, and I'm going to give you a reason why I'm going to say I have just found out this week that it is definitely an addiction. Look, we all love our knives and we're addicted to knives. I have no problem accepting that. Not whatsoever. I mean, I have so many knives to choose from in lots of locations about my... So if I run out of a knife, that's it. There's no problem. I can just get another one. This is my carry today. This is all I need. I'm indoors. It's one knife. I always have a knife on me at some stage, if not two. I, very, I wouldn't leave the house without either having one or two in my pocket and have a wee pen knife on my, my keys. So that's sort of, that's not a problem. My problem is the rest of the stuff. Do you become a, a, addicted to the rest of your ED, EDC carry? And I have found out this week, now if you watch my other videos this week, you know there's something missing from this here. And it's something that I show in every one of my EDC updates that I do, although I don't do a whole lot. I just take EDC as a fact that we all carry some sort of EDC. Maybe, I don't believe I'm any worse than other people. I maybe started EDC collecting, now not the knife collecting as such, but EDC probably over 10 years ago. And from then, I now... I'm so glad that I carry stuff that I'll need or probably more importantly, other people always seem to need and don't have. And there's nothing nicer to be able to say, oh, here you are. I have one of those. Here you are. Use that. And I, I get pleasure out of doing that, whether it's just my family, friends, anybody, whether it was anywhere, you know, it doesn't matter where you are. Somebody always needs like a pen, a flashlight, a pair of scissors, a knife, whatever. And it's nice to be the person that they can turn to and say, oh, there you go, Paddy has one of those. Go and ask Paddy for one of those. And I like being that person. That's that's part of my personality, in, if you like, as a knife EDC person, is you always have the tool to do it. And I have different setups for different carries. This could be part of my EDC. When I'm down the caravan, I carry that on my belt. I don't carry it around the house. It just sits on my desk. I go and get it if I need it. Flashlights, I have numerous flashlights from big heavy flashlights that I'll lose, use at night time when I'm out walking the dog or things like that or I need, I just need to go and search for something to little small flashlights which I carry every day in my pocket whether it's uh, my jean pocket, I, they clip on my jeans I have one on my, I'll always have at least two on me I know that sounds a wee, maybe a wee bit over the top, but I'll always have one on my key ring and I'll always have one in my pocket. Even if it's sports shorts or in the house, I carry one in my pocket. Lighters, I don't smoke, but I still carry a lighter. I have one on my... This is the one that I'll use mostly. It's a wee peanut lighter, which I really heavily... If you haven't got one, they're brilliant. This lasts for months. This is very cheap off AliExpress and it lasts for months with petrol. <coughs> It's very well sealed and I have tested probably about three months I get before I have to top it up again just to go and check it. Now it still works but I just top it up. Lighters, if I'm going down to the woods, if I'm going to start a wee fire, I'll always take a secondary one or, or something that, you know, I can always upgrade an EDC but these are the things that I carry all the time. My little pen knife, it's got a pair of scissors on it. I don't use it very much but it's nice to have it there and the amount of women would say, I need a pair of scissors to cut this tag off or I need it to do whatever. And you have one there. I enjoy that part of EDC. I have a spare pen. This is my little pen. I like having a pen with me at all times. It's a totally little thing. But the amount of times this pen has been used is unbelievable compared to my other pens. Because if I'm going somewhere I know I'm going to write, I'll always have an EDC pen as I call them. I have lots of different colours to match my knives, to match my lighters. Do you know what I mean? Strange things that I like to collect as EDC. And, and that is all part of this hobby. But I used to clump it in together with my knife. This is part of my knife hobby. And it's not. 
It is separate. And I found out this week that it is completely separate. And I know this is going to sound maybe strange to somebody, but maybe there's somebody else out there who has a weird head like mine and has, has it's found themselves in a position where they haven't got something that they carry every day. It is the most frustrating thing I have come across in this hobby. And it's happened to me this week, well, this last two weeks, and it has distracted me beyond belief. And it's a simple little thing. A little multi-tool, a Gerber dime that costs about $20. I left it down the caravan and I can't go and get it. <laughs> now, I would spend five or six pound on, on petrol to go down to the caravan and get that Gerber dime if it wasn't the lockdown conditions and, and I brought it back up and life would have been good. I wouldn't mind spending that money. Now, if you ask me, uh, if one of the kids asked me for a fiver for sweets, I'd say, sort off, here you are, do some chores as you, to get your fiver. But to get a little multi-tool that I carry, I will quite happily give away five or six pounds three times a week to go and get it if I had to because... It's part of my EDC. And I didn't realise how integral these little things become when you become EDC addicted. Because I do believe it is addiction. And this is the missing bit. It is a Gerber dime. And I can't tell you how much I've missed it. It's got a little pair of pliers on it. I was taking a knife apart the other day and I needed small uh, needle nose pliers. These were just a wee bit too big. I didn't have them. I didn't have them. I was distraught. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I was literally, where is that blooming... Oh, and then I remembered it was in the caravan and it done my head in. Now, I have ordered a another one. As soon as I realised I forgot it, I ordered another one from Heine Haynes. Um, I've ordered the squirt, the Leatherman squirt. I can't wait for it to come. Normally, Heine Haynes comes the next day, but... It's a lockdown. It's been nearly four days now. We haven't been getting mail. We're getting mail maybe once every three days, if we're lucky. So EDC, always being prepared. That sort of mind thought. But I wasn't prepared on one item. And it's the one item I probably used the most out of all my EDC things. And I only had one of them. Because I have this. I never thought I needed another one because it, you don't envisage a lockdown coming where you can't go and get something or I can't go to the shop and buy one or I've ordered one and it's taken four or five days to arrive and I haven't got it. And I have missed a stupid Gerber dime. And there's the reason I'm not going to call it a stupid Gerber dime because if I had it, I wouldn't have this thought problem. But I genuinely have missed it. I mightn't have used it. I might only have needed it maybe once or twice for menial tasks that other things would have done. But to not have it in my pocket will never happen again. I'm going to have the two. I'm going to have my Gerber dime, which I will leave here. And I'm going to have my Leatherman squirt, which will be in my pocket. It's just a, an upgraded version of the um, Gerber dime. It's about twice the price, but I believe you're getting the quality to go with it. And I just wanted to change that. But that Gerber dime I have had for... I don't know, about three years now. Yeah, about three years. And it's never let me down. There's nothing wrong with it. It works perfectly. And it's just a really useful tool. So <laughs> this is not going to be a very long video. It's just I didn't realise I was addicted to my EDC as much if not more on a regular basis, because I use them more than I'll, you know, I'll put that para three in my pocket. To, you know, if I put that in my pocket today, I might never pull that out and use it. It might just sit in my pocket all day. Now, my EDC is usually two knives. I will use the pen knife that drops in the bottom of my pocket more than I'll use my main blade. So there's things you can go without, but having multiples of things, like pens, you know, I'll carry, like I said, if I'm going somewhere, I'll carry a spare pen, but I always know I have that one there. You know, I have a spare light here. I always carry two pen lights. I can change them up, but only having one Gerber dime multi-tool, and when that was out of action and I can't get a replacement, I've just realised that how uptight. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy. And I just wonder if anybody else has ever come across this in their pattern or if I am just 
alone and crazy. But in this time, when I'm waiting for things, I've ordered it. Uh, well, Heine Haynes had sent me another little knife. It's taken over three days. Heine Haynes gets stuff to me in one day. But because of the post, not because of Heine Haynes, it's just not getting through in time. It is dementing me. <laughs> so, is there anybody else out there who's come across when they've lost a bit of equipment, they maybe haven't replaced it, and then you find out you need it? How frustrating that is. How frustrating that is. It's like taking a knife out and blunting it and not have something to sharpen it or not having the ability to be able to adapt. You know, so if you're going to go out and do a lot of work, carry a little pen sharpener with you. Just just simple little things like that. But the day you don't do it is the day you blunt your knife and you haven't the ability to pick a rock out of a river. Now, I have, and I have done it and I've proved it on the channel that I can pick a little rock up. I can go to the garden, pick one up. And I can sharpen the knife to get an edge back on it so it'll cut. But if you can't do that and you ha you're not carrying something, then that knife is as good as a brick. Do you know what I mean? And so, but EDC, how do you feel about it? Are you addicted to EDC? Even having a hanky now, I never carried a hanky my whole life, never needed one. But now if I go out without a hanky and I reach in my back pocket to get my hanky and it's not there, I feel naked. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Can you identify with it? Have you got the same problem or do I need to seek medical help? This is my question to you today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody, to our own Prime Minister who's battling coronavirus. I, I wish him all the well, my prayers and thoughts with him and everybody else who has got the virus throughout the whole world. My prayers are with you. Take care, everybody. I have a cup of tea over there. I know this was a bit of a madcap video for today and it came from nowhere, but frustration is a bad thing for an addicted person. <laughs> Take care. Paddy's gone. Bye-bye now.